Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, Jeremy here. Now, admittedly, this is the last day I'm here in London, so I thought it'd be a good time to review the second episode of Supernatural, season seven. This is episode two review. I actually, I'm still kind of wondering where did the season go bad? Now, admittedly, we're only in the second episode, but I actually did quite enjoy this episode. Are there a few things that are a little bit like, eh, like, I find it interesting that Dean's giving Sam so much crap about his issues with seeing Lucifer, even though, truly speaking, it's only been a couple of hours since the ending of the last season, so I don't really know why he's giving him that much crap, but I do enjoy Sam's battle, and even though it it doesn't do like the bestest of jobs of explain of trying to convince the viewer that maybe he is in something because we have literally dealt with a whole season of knowing that Sam is actually back. It's trying its best to put Sam in that situation. And I actually think the whole episode does a great job getting towards it until like especially with the hand thing with the hand scar. I forgot about that bit. I didn't mind that. And I actually don't mind the Leviathan's introduction either. Except for maybe one kind of odd issue is that all these dudes want to do is just eat people. Right down to the brass tack. They just want to eat people. And they're willing to take control of powerful people to eat more people. So essentially they're kind of like vampires if vampires took over. If you ever wanted a good novel series about that, a good that kind of gets a little bit weaker as it goes along is The Strain by uh, Camille Del Toro and Chuck Hogan. It's a really good series. I, I really enjoy the first book. TV show, not so much. Um, but yeah, I thought that the there's still some sh uh, use of horror in this. There's still shadows here and there. Like I know we've switched over to HD, uh, to digital, and it is a little bit different. It's not like superbly different to me, but it is interesting to see. Um, now, admittedly, maybe the difference is not as strong to me because I didn't watch the last season entirely on DVD. Uh, I. I don't know. But either way, I still enjoyed... Oh, I didn't watch season 6 on DVD at all. So, but then, um, I, I liked... I, I like Sam's thing. I like the Leviathans for the most part. We're building intrigue into them before we get disappointed by this season. Um, Bobby's, inter uh, Bobby's, you know, addition to the story of being the father figure that he is. Still pretty good. Overall, this episode's not bad, actually. It's, it's quite enjoyable. For a follow-up set, uh, for a follow-up to the season opener, is keeping the momentum going. It's keeping the interest going. Sure, some of the dialogue between just them all the time, like Dean's talking about, oh, I'm on a roller coaster, feeling, you know, everyone's like going through a lot of crap and blah blah blah. Then Bobby's house burns down at the end. Which, now I have two reasons why I think this happened. One, uh, maybe to change it, but two, I think that the building, the whole, I would be guess is that it, the set doesn't exist anymore. That junkyard does not exist been gone for a very long time so I have a feeling that maybe the person who owned the property just sold it and so they had to get rid of the set and they had to work it into the story but overall I don't know I, I think I would maybe give this episode a f it's a solid four I'd say it's a solid four I, I don't see any issue with it I might have given it a five except it kind of just does this a little bit like there's still like there's forward direction um, it's just a little messy, but it has direction at least. It's not just messy like a lot of season six was. So yeah, but anyways, you guys give me your comments below and let's read those off. Hello, Cruel World Episode 2 is a 7 out of 7 for me. It's definitely one of the better episodes of the season and I enjoy Sam's arc for the entire season. Just seeing Sam almost crying when he turns from Lucifer to Dean when he explains what he's going through makes me cry. They do it again in Repo Man, but this is the first time and it's much better than the second. Plus, Lucifer and Repo Man is a little cringe for me. Earlier on in the season, I loved Lucifer, especially in season 5 to 7, and I hate that dad, what he did to the character. Seeing Dean get through to Sam towards the end had me on the verge of tears. It was actually pretty good. Admittedly, I'm a little bit lighter on this episode than I should have been. I, I think I'm just in travel mode at this point, but actually this episode is a little bit better than I remember it being, and considering, again, I'm just kind of so flabbergasted at actually how decent these openers are. Episode 2. Now, so not gonna lie, I was actually really excited for the first time to watch these first two episodes. We saw Castiel explode and we were introduced to a cool new enemy, especially due to the mysterious goo buildup. So what do we get? A shapeshifter demon wannabe with a dildo for a head and cartoon teeth for a good measure. What the hell? How am I supposed to take this seriously? Every time they showed this effect, I would have me laughing my ass off. 
This is on top of the very cheesy and weird nature made the Leviathans from the supposed big threat to, without a doubt, the worst villain in the entire show. I'm not kidding here. The supposedly perfect creature monsters and their leader, Der Deke Roman, was, are the worst in the British Metal Letters. Worse than Eve, worse than Alternate Michael. I know you'll disagree, but I'm standing with my word here. They are the worst. Freaking Chuck was more threatening than them. At least Rob is a good actor. Nothing about the Leviathan stands out other than making my blood pressure rise. When, da when you dab smokes, smokes you in season 14, you know you were bad. As for Lucifer, he has gone through many of different stages throughout the show, and although this is not my favorite, I don't mind him. Honestly, the season is so boring and uneventful, I, I take what I can get. So far, our, what I remember being so interesting about the Leviathans is just how difficult it was to kill them, and that was what made them interesting, and I thought that they were more of a le legitimate threat than the men of letters were but they were just so poorly written at least that's from what i remember so i'm going down a new road here wow have you been following you and just realized how great the room looks the lighting and everything as i've said before look fo following you for a while and that's how i meant to help this because years ago i still remember the health scare and every year i want to ask you how you're doing hope everything's going well they're great oh well thanks jeff yeah no doing well thank you for the lighting that was a very rare day because sometimes the lighting's shit in here sometimes it's decent uh, hello, Cruel World. This episode is good. Misha did a good job paying, playing Leviathan Castiel, especially since he was really sick at the time. I was sad to see Castiel Vessel explode. Oh, cat like, cat like Misha was really sick. I don't know because like he, he's just so corny in this one. I really thought he was truly gone for the first time. I watched the episode. I was glad to see Jody again. Love her. I also liked seeing hallucination version of Lucifer, so unlike in season 14, I really don't like what the Leviathans look like. They are very different from what they should look like from the Bible. Uh, I can't really tell you what that would be, because I wouldn't know either, <laughs> so um, I'll take your word for it there. I'd have to say that after the mess of season 6, I really enjoyed season 7. It's obviously a lot of great one-off episodes, obviously not close to the level of 1 and 5, but very decent in comparison to 12 and 15. Well, so far, that's what we're going into with this. I'm kind of up and down to see how this goes. Uh, hello, cruel world. Uh, cast his vessel explodes. You just lost one of your best friends you ever had. Swim team gets possessed. Purgatory most wanted are surfering the sewer lines. Brothers are only real home ever gets destroyed. I wish the same happened in season 15. Bobby could be dead. Sam is suicidal as well as unconscious in season. Your brother's in a bell jar. Dean has a broken leg. But yeah, I get it. You're fine, Bobby. Uh, and they're on their way to Leviathan General Hospital. See, uh, at the second episode end with the brothers at one of the lowest points in the series and it manages to get lower as the season go on, goes on. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to disagree with you there because that's actually pretty dead on. It is pretty freaking bleak in this opener. So thank you guys for your comments. Uh, apologies for the time that's taken to put all these together. But uh, yeah, this is... Hang on. I wish I could tell you what this building is, but it's not St. Paul's or anything like that. Uh, Queenie died a couple of days ago, so it's been interesting to be around Dad out here. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed this review, and uh, I'll see you guys for episode three. Until next time.